Exion flung a spear, but in his eagerness pinned only the trunk of a maple tree. Jason hurled his weapon, but it too passed over the boar's back. Squealing with rage while his eyes flashed fire, it rushed upon young Nestor, who would never have lived to fight at Troy if he had not swung himself quickly into a tree out of harm's way. Then Telamon rushed at the boar with his spear ready, but he tripped over an unseen root and was barely rescued by Peleus. As he staggered to his feet, the boar charged, and it would have gone hard with them both if Atalanta had not, with quiet skill and courage, drawn her bowstring and sent an arrow whizzing into the boar's head close to its ear. Yet even her skill could not send an arrow right to the brain, so hard was the creature's skin. There was no one so delighted as Meliager. See, he cried, the Princess Atalanta has taught us men how to hunt boars, and has smitten the creature with a mortal wound. Ancheus, who had also objected to a woman joining in the hunt, was furious at this. Watch, he cried, I'll show you how a man settles with boars. No pinpricks from a woman will do it. A battle axe is the weapon and Artemis herself could not defend this boar against me. So saying, he rushed at the maddened creature and struck, but struck short. The next moment he was on his back, and the boar had killed him. In an effort to save him, Peleus flung his spear, but Eurytion sprang forward at the same moment with his weapon raised, and the spear meant for the boar passed through his body. Theseus also launched a spear, but aimed high in his excitement and transfixed only the bow of an oak tree. But Meliager's aim was true, and the boar fell to the ground, and he dispatched it with a blow of his second spear. Then the hunters shouted with joy and stood around gazing in awe at the great creature covering so large a patch of ground. Meliager knelt down and set to work skinning the boar, and when he had done so, he turned to Atalanta and presented her with the head and hide. 